Times. Welcome to the Kim Sunshine Show. Super excited to have you here. Welcome to the Kim Sunshine Show. Show. Uh, super excited to have you here. That's exactly that. where That's I messed high. up. But look, so you, for show, you did good, just as good as did I, I did. Okay? So you're hired. <laughs> I don't think I did very good. Actually, it is uh, it is an honor to be here at the Camp Sunshine Show. <laughs> Since I show. <laughs> We're not doing too much. This okay. is Anyways, Jackie Nixad. If, if you don't know Jackie, she is absolutely fabulous and she's an artist and I, I <laughs> Like, listen, we're going to do 10 interviews and this is number three. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're a little. So, but look now. at this amazing piece of artwork behind me. And, um, I, <laughs> wow, that's the name of her art company. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this beautiful piece right here that is a tribute to our peer. And this picture was taken after Hurricane Ian. And it's also a nice fundraiser for the community. But first, I'm going to talk to Jackie. So, Jackie, you are almost like an original here in Palm Coast. Like, how long has your family been in the area? Um, actually, we came down about 2004, 2005, uh, I guess, when the boom was occurring. Well, uh, yeah, it was just that was shortly after Palm Coast was incorporated. So, like, yeah. you are one of the founders. Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> it was I don't just know a about couple that, years. But, yes, um, we've been here for quite some time. And your family owns a furniture store in town? Yes, we do. We own home design furniture and furniture to go. So if you are driving outside of Home Depot and you see a furniture store right in front of you on Boulder Rock, just keep going straight and go in there and browse around and take a look at um, Jackie's family's furniture stores. As it's awesome. And they have a lot of really cool things right now. With the pandemic, you kind of did a cool thing with your business model, which is... See it, buy it, take it home. There you go. And who doesn't like love that? Because when we're shopping for furniture and we find what we like, we just want it home. <laughs> right now. And especially when they're telling you one year for customized upholstery. Yes. You know, several months to get people waited months and months and months for furniture. So what we did, we filled up our warehouse and we said, hey, go at it. See it, buy it, take it home or we can deliver. That's a nice thing about working with a family owned business that sees a need and fills a need. And that's also what Jackie did with her Waza Wall art. Yes. Yeah, I did. I, I, I uh, about three years ago, got into uh, doing the business with the Waza Wall art. And um, it's been a process and it's been great. I've, I'm really enjoying it. I'm doing what I love. It's my passion. So. so Jackie is an expert at helping people design their homes, helping them put their furniture pieces, the right pieces for the size of the room, for the walls. And now she has become an expert in even elevated it a, a level higher, I would say, by bringing in the important colors that people are looking for in their decor into artwork. <laughs> so yeah. it's amazing. Like when you see her artwork. Thank you you know it's a wowza because that's exactly what your mind is thinking. Yeah, we try to, you know, go from small to huge. And huge means, you know, up to seven foot on a piece. Um, and she's not afraid of that. Like, no. there's not a lot of artists that are going that big, but Jackie <laughs> Jackie does. And Wowza Wall Art is ready to do that for you. And you can check out their website, wowzawallart.com, to see a large variety. How many different items do you have up on the website? I probably have at least 50 art pieces and we're constantly adding to them new stuff. Um, we even, we have, we, we focus on, uh, I guess our feature is local artists, local art, but we do have other things like turtle art, you know, watercolor theme. Feel, That's local water, contemporary local. stuff. Yeah. It's just that, you know, it's a little more general because I don't have too many artists yet that are going in the water and getting me pictures. So. <laughs> oh, so if you're an artist that goes into the water and gets pictures, be sure to contact Jackie <laughs> and see if she wants to buy some of your local turtles. We get some local turtles. That would be awesome. Yeah. And guess what? They, <laughs> they're they easy to pose. I think you move so slow. <laughs> I'm like, you're, just a oh, bit. slow down, turtle. I got to get you. <laughs> Anyways, true. I just had a, <laughs> a visual. So behind us, we have this amazing piece of artwork, and uh, we're going to look at it up here in the camera. But this is, um, tell us about this piece of artwork here. Yeah, so um, actually about a week, and, week or so ago, right after the hurricane, I went out to the pier uh, with my pilot, um, Darren Leggett, actually. And we went out and took that picture, and I just was feeling inspired that evening and uh, put on my gospel music and, you know, started in doing the vision of what I, what I was thinking about for the pier. I just love the pier. It's such an iconic piece. And, um, I just, this just came to me and I think it was definitely a God thing. 
that, that happened that night. I agree. I agree. And then she said, she sent it to me. And the interesting thing is, is this whole launch that you're doing for the month of October was planned way before any of this happened with the pier. Yes, it was. Um, I've actually, like I said, I, I, this, this business was envisioned about three years ago. Now people were coming into the furniture store you know, we, do you have any local art? Do you have any local art? And it's such an emotional type purchase and so meaningful to customers. So we, I decided to go in that direction. I've always been, been into art and took many art classes. And, uh, so, you know, photography was a hobby. And, um, so then, you know, this kind of made sense for us. It's amazing. And if you have not seen their artwork, you will see them around town at all the farmers markets, any of the big events. They always have a tent there. Um, your son, Skyler's there, correct? Yes, yeah. yeah. He's, and what a nice young man he is. So if you get a chance to talk to him, he will really inspire you because he's like just a, this little young entrepreneur and he's out there with all the artwork and you will be wow <laughs> Yeah, definitely. He's out there. And actually this week we have a bunch of shows. Um, okay. So we'll list those off um, yeah, and definitely. we'll, we'll put a link up to their events page where you can always see what shows mm-hmm. are going on when you watch us, whether it's today, tomorrow, next week or next month. Sure. And right here. So, so what this says is through the storms of life, I still stand. <laughs> How many of you does that describe you through the storms of life? I still stand because we're, we're promised life, but we're, we're promised, you know, life abundantly when we live through Christ, but we're not promised life without storms. So you have to have something to hold on to. I choose to hold on to my faith. And I believe that my faith has helped me so much get through storms. And when I see this and I, we realize how our area was spared from Ian and hurricane Ian has did so much damage all up and down to the North of us, the South of us and to the West of us. And we Pretty much, we're we're very much unscathed. I mean, I've met, I met a couple of people who got some water, but nothing like we are seeing to the north and the south of us. So I just have to thank God for His hand of protection on us, and thank God that we didn't um, suffer like so many other people did. But when we look at this pier and those people, I hope that they can feel this at the end of the day that through the storms of life, they still stand. Yeah, most definitely. And we, you can actually see a rainbow in there that kind of represents all of that. So you can see the beautiful beginnings. rainbow. Yes. And the Wowza logo's up there too. <laughs> yes. And that is has all, all the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, it does have quite a bit of co- colors in it. Definitely. I love I that. to make it pop. So. I love that turquoise blue. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's it's one of my favorite colors, blue, actually. So. I wanted to make sure it was in there. So go to wowzawallart.com and check it out. Jackie, was there anything else that you wanted to talk about today? Um, I mean, um, like we're, we, like I said, we got lots of, uh, market shows that we go to. You can find the art in furniture to go. My brother's over there, David, go say hi to him. See some amazing furniture pieces and then see our local art there. Um, we also have it in Norman beach. That's where I'm at. And, um, we got about 20,000 square foot of furniture in there along with a lot of the art pieces too. And then go say hi to Skylar and Tristan this week. Like I said, we've got a bunch of shows, so they both will be running them um, throughout the week. And then stop here at Cornerstone Center. We have several pieces here that you can see, and you can actually buy them right from from Cornerstone. So, yeah, and- my my artists, by the way, are local. I have uh, two that I've started out with: Merlis mm-hmm. Vieira, amazing; Scott Nance, amazing. Um, and I also have a few of my pieces uh, as a hobbyist and love for art. Um, obviously. Um, and- with photography, um, you can check out a couple of my pieces, like my lighthouse, which actually I think. We have can we see it behind you? Oh my gosh! I oh, come There's over here, Jackie. Come over here. Right we there, can right see there. the lighthouse. Oh. So, what was your motto on this on this piece behind you? I, it's um, absolutely gorgeous. Like, actually, I guess you know, being a landscape photographer and um, you know, living in Florida, you know, I guess I kind of that storm thing becomes becomes pretty popular in the saying. So, um, it was uh, through. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, be the lighthouse in someone else's storm. I have t-shirts that say that motto and I just, it's just kind of stuck. So, it's beautiful. Be the light in someone else's storm. So you are a friend, a really good friend. Like if you're willing to be the light in someone's storm, that's a really good friend. Yeah. You never know somebody's day, how they're, what they're going through in that day. And me, it could be even just a little thing that you do that's kind and, you know, helping them out and you, you could just make someone's day so much brighter. So that was kind of the, the feeling I got with that. So. 
Jackie, I am so honored to know you, and I look forward to us building our friendship as we get to know one another. We just met, I met actually her son first, and I met her artwork really before anything because I was so drawn to the artwork, and I kept talking to her son, and I'm like, you got to send your mom in, you got to send your mom in, and um, and he did, and I'm so happy, and I think, I feel like you and I have a connection because we both are very spiritual. Yes. So so tell us about your relationship with God. Yes, well, I'm actually Jewish. Um but um, I became a believer and, um, many years ago, and I, what's important to me is my relationship with God. That's the most important. You know, He's my friend. He's my my father. He's everything. And I know with without Him, you know, I, I can't do anything. It's, you know, so well, you know, um, my, all the blessings are coming through Him, and I'm very appreciative. The people who were Gentiles now, who weren't before, are waiting. For the Messiah. So the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah, and so are the Gentiles, um, who, that's us. We are now Christians who are waiting for Jesus. So everybody's waiting for him. Now, the difference is the Jews are now required to live by the law and under the law of the Old Testament, which is, I believe it's 648. Do you know the exact number Uh, of all the laws? But it's 600 and a the lot. Most important. It's 600 and a lot. Right. <laughs> like, it's a lot of laws that you have to live by as a Jew. So Jewish people can choose to do that and live under the law, or they can choose um, Christ and be saved by grace and not have to live under the law and where Jesus came to fulfill the law. So that's a choice that they make. And we don't know why anybody makes that choice. And if that's what God has called them to do, by golly, who are we to tell them not to? Sorry, there's only one person, one being that can judge, and that's God, not us. Exactly. And we let the Holy Spirit, we always give the Holy Spirit room to do its work Mm -hmm. because we can't do the work. I mean, I've got some muscle, but it's not that much flex. (laughs) And I did hear that if you do planks for a long time, you could something about the muscle under your arm. And I just imagine a under, like, I can't wait till I have an underarm muscle flex, but (laughs) not sure what that looks like, but I had a. It's late. Okay. So. I know. It's kind of late, isn't it? <laughs> but Jackie, it has been a pleasure getting yeah. to know you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate being here. I'm, you know, Kim Sunshine. God, what a name. I can't believe Sunshine is your name. No it's, pressure. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I well, want that name. I think you can make that happen. Like, I don't know how much they charge, but I know that when my, when my ex-husband, he, he didn't adopt my children, but he did take, change their names, and it was $350 each. So I think okay. for $350, you might could get it done. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I love my last name. I do appreciate it. And it. It's a blessing and a curse. And the blessing is that everybody remembers me no matter where I go. And it, it's awesome for business. But the curse is... Everybody remembers me wherever I go. So if I do anything wrong, there's no, I can't say it was me. the sunshine, Kim? <laughs> Everybody knows it's me. So that's all right. I live a, um, a, a pretty straight and narrow life. I like to have fun and enjoy, you know, um, you wanted to do the music and dance. I'm like, let's do it. Like, there's not many things that'll scare me as, as long good. as they line up with God's Just word. I'm me good. To sing, then we'll be in trouble. Well, we're <laughs> challenge accepted. Like we do karaoke at my house. So, oh, we have a setup here. You want to? Okay. (laughs) Country Rose. Here we go. (laughs) But if you would like to um, help to support what Jackie's doing, she's selling these. And how is this working? There's um, for Flagler Strong, correct? Yeah. um, So any money that the profits that are being made from the sales of anything with the I still stand um, art will go 100% to Flagler Strong, which is going to wow helping hurricane vi- victims in our area, you know, disaster relief. So that was kind of what I was inspired to do. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we raise a lot of money for them. You were, I know we had talked about a couple of different things. Are, is the first 10,000 going or have you decided that all of it will go? Um, yeah, I, 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 I haven't made a full decision on that, but I was thinking about the first 10,000 and then going, the whole state of Florida. If it if it caught fire, you know, then we could look at helping, um, you know, everybody in Florida. Exactly, with, because with there were the, uh, the wrath of Ian. Because there's so many devastated areas. I mean, we my furniture store in Ormond Beach. We've had people come in from D- South Daytona and Port Orange. Orange my my one of our employees uh, had water in her house. It was just terrible. And you know, I know a few people that have that you know lost everything, and it's just tragic. So. 
Yeah, I, if God willing, I can get over that ten mark, and then we can do something that. Would else be great with more than just just Flagler County. If the needs are met here in Flagler County, what Jackie's saying is is we can have our city and our county to be a light and a beacon for the rest of the state of Florida, and we can help other people around with this piece of art. So, it's like the lighthouse, <laughs> exactly, it can be the light in someone else's storm. Exactly, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Jackie, you are a fabulous person inside and out. I'm so thankful that I've had a chance to meet you. Really look forward to our friendship growing. Definitely. Thank you so much, Kim. Appreciate it. In 20 years, girlfriend, we're going to look back at this and laugh at this video. I just want you to know. (laughs) Everybody have a great day and thanks for watching. (laughs) Bye. See ya. He's over here throwing signs at me. That's an answer to the question. Don't you have to ask me a question? (laughs) 